Let's speak about Scorpio ascendant as a soul path evolution now. Number eight, Scorpio is in the ascendant now with the Tamas Moksha. That means it asks the question for what? Finding the core desires. This is in their head throughout their life. Their life path is all about trying to find the core desire of whatever it is they are doing in whichever area of life. They want to know why they are desiring that. This is why it becomes a very moksha seeking ascendant like all the water signs. Let's see the 5 and 9 here. This is the first moksha point. This is the number house number 5, the fifth house. This is the second moksha point for the Scorpio and the number four cancer comes in the ninth house which is the third and the final moksha point. As we can see all water signs are all moksha points but of a different kind. They have got a different energy signature to them. One is tamasic, rather two are tamasic and one is sattvic. So the highest graduation the Scorpio ascendant soul makes in life they can aspire to as far as liberation is concerned, as far as moksha is concerned, is to answer the connection for what they are connecting with the heart there. They go from the desire point to the education point, finding out why me, why am I doing all of this? And they ground it, tamasic energy. So they ground it in Pisces, in the educational front, in creativity with their children. Because these are all the aspects of the fifth house. <coughs> And then they are to be creative and then they have love and then they have romance all of the aspects of the fifth house which lead them further on to the last moksha point for them because they are all about moksha see the moksha and the ascendant there so they are all about moksha all the water signs all the three water signs so they graduate up to the cancer in the highest form for what connection with the heart where is the connection with the heart made in the ninth house if they are to seeking higher wisdom and philosophy and higher meanings of life this will give them the connection with their hearts but we are jumping ahead let's get back to the house number two the house of family the house of wealth the house of elder siblings the house of your face how you look like they look very sattvic and dharmic Sattva and Dharma are in the second house of their face, of their looks. This is why Scorpios may look very deep, very mysterious because they have a higher meaning seeking and philosophy and wisdom right in the second house. So one of the things this means for the soul evolution is that the Scorpio soul is seeking for higher meanings in the family around them. Your birth family and their created family, both. They are seeking it right in their homes, wherever they are born into, with their siblings. They are always searching for deeper meanings there. Also, because it's the house of wealth, they have a very philosophical relationship with money. I have personally seen this in Scorpio ascendants. You can be sure if you give Scorpio the work to do finance management, that you will never get a cheater. They are really honest about their money and what they owe people. They will give it in time. They have a philosophical wisdom approach to handling money because it's in their second sign. Dharma is in their house of wealth. In house number three, they have got Capricorn, Rajas and Artha. This is where they are seeking means, job. So they should develop skills and whatever they need to do as work to tie the ascendant number number one the co the core desire they need to know their core desires in order for them to work this puzzle properly what should i develop my skills in what should i work as what should my job and career business be they start thinking of this very earlier on in life and because it's the rajas this energy constantly changes for them in life. They might constantly develop new skills, constantly develop new communication skills, constantly change the way they interact with social media, with their younger siblings. Everything changes. This house changes for them through life. In the fourth house, the second Kendra house, they have Sattva and Kama. The for what? They ask the purest form of desire. Sattvic means pure, conceptual form, idea form. 
and karma is desire the purest form of desire the for what the place where they seek fulfillment in gains and connections all the gains they seek will be with respect to their home and they will ground it in their heart they will feel it in their heart home means a lot for scorpio uh, ascendant souls because of this very reason they got their purest form of desire here okay in the home in the heart in their lands in their vehicles this means extremely um pure energy for them because they are always sensing desire see they born with desires in their mind core of desire so they will know this very very acutely okay so in the fifth house in education is the second moksha point which they will seek their education what they want to do career and job ties in very well with here remember even the bhavat bhavam of the third house is the fifth house <coughs> so here they are wanting to ground it because it's tamasic energy the why me this liberation of ego that they seek in the department of education creativity love and romance they want to define these things in very concrete structures as what about me is involved here which part of me is involved in love which part of me is involved in creativity and if they just disengage from ego there they can really shine in this because it's the final uh, moksha point the last sign so it's a graduation of their creative skills that they need to bring about they need to focus on themselves more here because it's the tamas sign they are still focusing on themselves scorpio goes inside it's an internal sign it stands for still water as i have spoken of before in prior videos so this is very important point for scorpio soul path the education love and creativity aspect in the sixth house of daily routines they have rajas and dharma the aries the why the need to find path and self they will find through their actions they need to do daily work in their daily work they will find the wise hidden that's how they discover their wise they will not discover it by sitting and thinking around they will discover it by doing something every day tasks work routines they should not fight this in house number 7 of um, spouse love relationships romance marriage they have rajas and artha so this energy is constantly moving about in the form of getting means So Scorpios have this wrong notion, or I can't really call it wrong. It's just a misconstrued emotion of trying to find means and end results from their spouse. The how? How do I get resources and abilities from my spouse? You can't derive this from the spouse, although the spouse will help you in discovering that. That's what this means. you got a spouse who is rajas and artha based who will recognize help you recognize your resources and abilities but you got to finally find the core desire within yourself remember the bhavat bhavam of the seventh house is the first house the work has to be done by this person in the eighth house of instability and others well they have rajas and kama that means instability of life whatever it occurs to them will give them a moving sense of desire in kama more rajas and kama means moving sense of desire but this relates to discovery of communication skills traditionally the third house is communication skills okay so the changes in life that a scorpio goes through will help them discover what they want to do in career job and business the traditional third house which is now gone to eight in house number 9 it is satva and moksha that means the for what question connection with the heart the last moksha point that scorpio ascendant soul will make is in seeking higher wisdom philosophy traveling to foreign lands connecting with different people of different lands this is where they will connect with the heart their heart finding out what that is core desire in the 10th house it is satva and dharma so there um 
<coughs> work in the world is very much related to dharma which they will do they need to find purpose and direction and that they will bring it over here as pure form of questioning and working highest form of creativity the fifth house is here now it has come to the tenth house you see how all these points are tying the fifth house aspect the sixth house aspect and the tenth house aspect they are all tied in together see the kind of questions that the scorpio ascendant will ask so they will be using their creative intelligence and education in their career they should know that this is how i should be carrying out the work and then i will fulfill my soul mission of bringing a sattvic energy which is full of dharma which then moves on to the 11th house of social gains connections money receiving money abundance abundance of connections social media all of that stuff but this is tamas and artha this is the house of virgo which is very grounded so what does it say the what and the where so they need to understand scorpio soul path is compelled to understand how to work and where to work smartly in social media and in community and develop routines around that if they want to succeed if they want to bring this sattva and dharma energies into the collective they need to be grounded in those things work and routines which again ties to the why need to find path and purpose which again ties to why me embracing the liberation from ego in the 12th house they have rajas and kama so this is the highest spiritual evolution point when i say highest spiritual evolution point understand it from a singular perspective it doesn't mean absolute one can go any degree in higher vibration left itself if a scorpio soul does not do anything about their life this is the maximum point it can hope to achieve the rajas and kama the movable desiring energy the libra selfless service fulfilling the need for connection and companion they will find a great friend and companion in librans by the way scorpius why because the libra is also looking for that friend and companion selfless giving 12th house is also for selfless giving so this makes it a, the final spiritual liberation point for a scorpius soul path okay